This is a public service announcement. Are you stuck in the past, turning lights on and off with switches? Come into the 21st century with Custom Extra's Remote Camp Light Kit. One thing you might have noticed with this vehicle is the lack of external camp lighting on this vehicle. We have some external lighting being in the spotlights at the front, and we also have a, uh, a cargo mounted lighting system that when we turn it on, it floods out to the campsite. And if you're like me, you've probably spent a lot of time trying to figure out exactly how you're going to get the perfect 12 volt lighting setup to the top of your vehicle that's going to suit your budget, suit your needs, and still keep flexibility on your vehicle setup. Because with the realization that your four wheel drive these days is a multi role vehicle within the family and business, some people use theirs for work during the week and play on the weekends. Others use their vehicle to do the uh, school trips and the daily drive arounds and then they'll also set it up for camping. So they might have their roof rack set up with an awning. Uh, they might even add their swag to the top or they'll do a bigger camp maybe with a rooftop tent, swag, roof rack, awning, uh, bigger tires, switched out to doing those heavy duty family towing duties. With all those setups in mind, the realization is that the roof rack itself has to be flexible. And my 12 volt camp light setup has to be just as flexible. And how I wire that is really gonna impact on how my roof rack stays flexible on this setup. So the way I see it, I've got a couple options here. I can continue on with the external 12 volt system that we have. Every time I set up the awning, I've got to get this lighting kit out, install it. When we move on for the day or we finish camping, I bring it down, pack it up. Honestly, it's time consuming. It's becoming quite monotonous and I think it's not gonna last much longer. The other option would be to install the lighting on the roof rack, uh, mount them all up, run wiring either down an A-pillar or penetrate the roof lining, which I'm not keen on doing. Then I'm still gonna bring it back into the cab, mount switches up and control my lighting from inside the cab. So every time I want to turn a light on or off, I've got to actually open the door, go in, turn it on and off, and I've got to find space to mount those lighting switches. And it also makes my roof rack quite permanent because to disconnect that lighting, I've got multiple wires that I've got to sever and then to remove the roof rack and put it back on. Plus, I'm going to risk having some 12 volt connections on the roof that are probably not going to be the most weather resistant. And when I'm away, the last thing I want to do is be chasing a 12 volt fault and your camp lights aren't working because you've got some moisture in somewhere. So the other option was I went online, I got tempted, I bought a uh, 12 volt relay that's controlled with a remote control and I thought about, hey, this might be a good way to control my external lights with a remote and less wiring. But frankly, build quality is questionable. Um, it is not weather resistant in any means. So I'm still have to mount this inside the vehicle. So I'm gonna have to wire, run wiring down into the vehicle whether they penetrate the roof or down the A-pillar all the way to the rear of the vehicle where this would be mounted. I could probably maybe do it in the cab. So I've still got a bulk wiring that I'm gonna bring up to the roof. And once again, I'm gonna to have to do connections on the roof and they're gonna be exposed to um, moisture and the elements. And honestly, they're gonna fail. You're gonna have issues with your lighting. The other option is maybe I could put this in a weatherproof box of some sort, but the price just keeps going up. The costing to install this is going up. I've gotta buy more cable, weatherproof boxes, all the bits and pieces that go with it. And frankly, as I said, the build quality is uh, I'm not just not sure about. So this is going in the bin. So I kept looking around and I found this product by Custom Extras. It's a remote controlled camp light kit that comes with a water weather resistant box that you can mount externally to the vehicle. So this is going to allow me to mount this box to the roof rack and most likely I'm going to do it under the roof rack and it already has connectors fitted off to it and a handy remote. Custom Extra's remote camp light kit is a perfect addition to your 4x4 camping trailer, toy hauler, boat or any other 12 volt based equipment. It can control up to four different low current devices from a keyring size remote control, giving you a range of benefits. No drilling to your dash for mounting of switches, simple wiring to your roof rack, only one pair of wires to control four or more lights. Turn devices on and off from a distance and it's tested to over 100 meters depending on environment. So this system is either somewhere between a DIY job or a full plug and play system. So it's going to keep all you DIY guys quite happy. Oh come on, let me wire something. You still get to do the 12 volt wiring yourself, but with the added confidence of Dutch connectors fitted at factory. Hey everybody, I'm from Holland. Isn't that weird? Yes. You can also order leads off Custom Extra's website. 
at set lengths, or if you ask nicely, they could probably do you a custom length. So who are custom extras, you ask? Well, you know what? They're a family owned and operated business out of uh, Blue Mountains in New South Wales. Check out their website. It's down below here and in the uh, description. I suggest you log in, have a look at their website because they offer a vast amount of products relating to the uh, camp lighting, um, the remote control kits, leads, that kind of stuff. And their, their inventory is just getting bigger and bigger. And we're excited to announce that they've partnered up with us for a giveaway. We're gonna give you, one lucky viewer, a chance to win one of these. All you can do is find the code word in the video, chuck it in the comments below, put in a little sentence there, not just a one word answer, and uh, you'll go in the chance to win the one of these. And if that's not enough, Custom Extras have also given you, the viewer, a 10% discount code. Put it in the description below. It's only limited time, um, and when it disappears off the descriptions, it's gone, but it's gonna allow you, the viewer, to also purchase products from their website. Okay, so powering this unit, you have two options. An easy option or a really easy option. So the easy option is to pick off your 12 volt supply on your engine bay using the, the lead that you get from Custom Extras to supply the unit. You run it through your engine bay. On this vehicle, I'm gonna run it up the A-pillar, in a probably a bit of uh, auto corry and uh, fasten it to the snorkel um, and up into the unit and you plug it in. That's it. In this vehicle, although all my aftermarket accessories are run from the rear battery, so I've actually got an extra lead made up that I'm going to take the 12 volt from the rear battery through into the engine bay, set up a plug here so I can actually unplug the 12 volt power so to, and then I can just remove the roof rack uh, and run it up, plug it in. The other easy, the even easier option is it comes with a 12 volt cigarette light lighter plug. You can just plug straight into 12 volt supply. Here's the roof rack on the ground. We've got to mount up the unit. Um, I must say, I'm pretty excited about this because so far it's going to be so easy with not having to use any switches in the car. It's all going to be plug and play. It's going to save so much time. A lot of people sort of say, oh, we you know, save money doing it myself. But what's your time worth? And honestly, this is going to probably take you half an hour to do, maybe an hour. I've saved that in just labour and just buying what I needed. So we've got um, a bracket here. We've also got uh, the unit itself here. And what I'm thinking is we're going to mount that on the roof rack here, but underneath, so it's out the way. Um, and don't hold it against me, but when I got a couple of cheap little spotties here, I decided to put at least two on the front. I haven't really decided about light bars or anything like that. If you've got any good brands you recommend, let me know. I'm actually going to look to update these. I'm going to mount these to the front. I've already done one over there. I'm going to put the other one at the front here. And with that cool little bracket we've got, we've got a few like rock lights that we're going to mount and um, to the awning. And I must say that these mounting brackets from Custom Extras are awesome. It means that the, the lighting is hidden under the awning. Um, it's not going to get smashed and bashed when you're driving along. And uh, once you set that awning up, you've got plenty of light. If it's in, you've got light as well. Uh, we've got a few leads here and also a double adapter so we can basically run two lights off the one channel and um, that's going to be quite handy. Now this setup here, I like to keep this area free for those heavy and bulky items so I'm not going to be mounting this to the top. We're going to have all the wiring underneath and the mounts underneath and the roof rack, uh, rooftop tent sits on the roof rack here um, in this space here and it folds that way so we're going to run a wire over to the seam where it folds open and we're going to be able to have a plug there to plug in the light inside the, um, the rooftop tent and then start plugging when it, the tent comes off. Have you seen this? Have you seen how easy this was? All I had to do was like push up the roof rack, drill me holes, bolt the unit in place with a few nuts and bolts. Now all I've got to do is grab my pre-made leads here, run around the bottom of the roof rack into that position, cable tie them in place, plug my lights in, mount up the two awning lights I've got in the bracket, plug it all in, happy as, get the roof rack back on the car, plug it into the power, get that controller out, off we go. Must say I'm very excited about this. This has taken me less than half an hour. Here, got it from Custom Extras, it's definitely gonna do the job. It's gonna line up under our awning. So we're gonna put one at the front, one at the back. And all you gotta do is chuck the bolts in the rails. And then put the bracket on. And that's gonna allow me to adjust the bracket up and down. It also allows the light to be hidden under the um, awning. So it's not gonna get smashed off when you're driving that kind of stuff up high. Um, and it's gonna yeah, throw light when your awning's out. And when it's in, it's also gonna throw light. Lights go on, lights go off. Lights go on, lights go off. Lights go on, lights go off. You could do this all night. How much fun is this? No more switches in the cab. Basically that car is locked up, secure. Don't need to go back into it for anything, except maybe another beer. And then when I'm done at the end of the night, jump straight in bed, leave the lights on, 
when I'm ready, I can just turn them off. I've actually had to dull them down a little bit with a bit of our uh, material just so I can do this video so you can see my face because they're throwing so much light out into this camp area because of the positioning of those brackets. The unit itself, as you saw, was so easy to put in, like 30 to 45 minutes, and the, the unit was mounted, wired, plugged in, cable tied in position, really great, neat install, and I can still put things on top of the roof rack because all the wiring is routed underneath. I suggest you jump onto their website, have a look at their products, grab yourself a discount code if it's there. If you haven't grabbed the code word, go back through the video, check it out, grab it, put it in the comments section below and you can might be the uh, lucky winner of one of these units. Well, that's it from me. I'm going to crack my beer and enjoy the night. As always, try and support Aussie owned when you can and we'll see you around. This is a public service announcement.